We sat on a call with our executive team yesterday to talk about the project. They do an audit, a quarterly audit on our large projects, and this one fits that category. There was no drama whatsoever. It's really a pretty darn good meeting to have, so that's the kind we like. When we first show up for, for spring opening up and we have all the contractors come in and there's a bunch of new faces and new people, it just takes a little bit to get to know them. Good to see owners, reps, and colleagues that we haven't seen for a few months. So it was, you know, good to get the job rolling again. It's just a beautiful area, right? You know, it's, um, you got to take it in every day, just really the impact of where we're at. That's what I look forward to as well. And that's the one thing I didn't, couldn't even imagine is the beauty of this place. Really just uh, looking forward to getting this bridge uh, built across this slide and um, seeing it all come to fruition. The one thing we're used to in Alaska is your working season is very limited. You work from May to October, and the farther north you get, the shorter that season becomes. You have to be very strategic about getting early starts and working late in the year and what that looks like. There's a huge limitation in seasonal challenges up here. KWH specializes in uh, complex bridge launch systems, so we do a lot of bridge launches around the country. The wind is the hardest thing on this job for us to overcome. More importantly, during the launch, we need to have weather windows to be able to launch the bridge. You know, it's Alaska, so obviously the weather changes at the drop of a hat. So we've partnered with a specialty company uh, that studies wind and private meteorologists for key moments in time in this job to ensure that we're working within our wind limitations. So coming back from the winter, a lot of concerns that the road was continuing to slide down the hillside when we were away. So step one was coming back, assessing the situation how bad the road was. We were excavating the frozen colluvium on the west cut. We came across a fairly large iceberg, roughly 90 feet by 45 feet by 30 feet. Kind of partially goes into the roadway, the new roadway, and partially goes into the, the finished cut. So we had to excavate the, most of the iceberg out and backfill it with rock that we have out on site to help preserve the ice and not have it melt any further. I mean, it's a unique job site in the sense that we're four, four and a half hours north of Anchorage, then two and a half hours into the middle of Denali National Park, so it's a logistically challenging job. So working out here in a very remote location, we have to take safety very seriously so that we don't have any instances of trying to get medical services out here. It would take them hours to get here. This isn't a simple call 911 and have an ambulance here. If they're coming for something serious, it would have to be by helicopter. We're leasing a property that's outside the park for staging. And that has streamlined our logistics operations to get material into the park. All of our water originally was getting trucked down from Fairbanks into the camp probably three times a week. Food comes from Anchorage, and it's just a constant battle trying to get food and wastewater and water all scheduled. It changes with camp capacity. We've had jobs over the years in various locations from southeast Alaska up to the North Slope, and that makes us well suited to handle logistics. Ah, that's good. Good stuff. Just a nice appreciation dinner. It's nice to do something that keeps the morale up. I mean, some of these guys, you can, I mean, you see out there, they're just so happy, the smiles on their faces. My favorite part about the job has been working around really unique subcontractors with specialties that I've never worked around before. Most of the work that I've done has been highway work where we're building a road for 10 miles. It's been really cool to be around drilling and blasting and doing the abutment blocks and things like that. What struck me is just the camaraderie amongst all the folks in the region was really strong. You could you could tell that, you know, it's a strong team. We had a partnership with Granite as a previous work and uh, this job came up and, you know, CMGC is a great contracting method for us. And uh, we were able to get on early with the Granite team and start the preliminary design of the bridge erection system. And that was pivotal. The one thing that has made this project click so far is partnering. 
between the National Park Service, the FHWA, Granite, our subcontractors, we have all worked together with one philosophy, and that is making decisions that are best for the project. Mm -hmm.